All right, it's lunchtime, and I really enjoy the fact that they've got a uh, catering truck here. Buka Gourmet Food Truck. Just eat. Let's see what they got. Wow, they got all kinds of cool stuff. French fries, lamb and chicken cheese quesadilla. A gyro. And something I can't even pronounce, like sujak and chicken swa warma plate. Well, I really screwed that up. Yeah, it's nice to have some catering trucks in the village. Okay, she's getting something. Let's see what she got. What'd you get? What kind of food is it? Oh, it's like a turkey. Oh, it's a turkey. It has yeah. beef yeah. on it. Okay, it's great. That it's looks really good. Okay, nice little snack it's for me. Turkish. Ooh. Is that yay? That's awesome. Yeah, so when you get your food from the uh, catering truck, you can sit out here, enjoy the music. It's a beautiful day. I think it must be about 80 degrees here. Perfect Saturday in November. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart, you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. I tried so hard. To give in. I say to myself, it's a fact, never will go so well. But why should I try to resist when darling I know so well that I've got you under my skin? I'd sacrifice anything, come what might. For the sake of having you near, in spite of a warning voice that comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool, you never can lose. <laughs> Use your mentality. Wake up to reality. Thank you so much. And wow, we're so happy. 
happy, happy, happy to be here this evening. Glad you're here with us today. On this, it's a beautiful day. She's one of the best friends ever that you could ever want. Same here. And she knows things that I don't, so I'm always asking her to teach me stuff. <laughs> well, have you we both share lived with in each the other. village for a while? How long have you lived in the village? Uh, since 2011. Okay. I've been here four years. Did you find each other here? Yes, we, we did. did. We were, what was it, like a craft show or yes, something we at, at Clubhouse show. One? Yes, and we both dress very colorful. You're so like sisters. We That's, attracted to each other. Well, like sisters. she knows Hawaii. I love Kona. She's from Kona. She lived in Elisa Viejo. I lived in Elisa Viejo. She's into photography. I'm into photography. Yeah, so we have a lot in common. Yeah. Get away the high. Man, that's so, amazing. Yeah. Okay. What did so you think we, of Bonanza? What did you think of Bonanza? Oh, I love the Bonanza. I buy something every year for gifts for my friends. It's a wonderful place to get marvelous. I got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, I bought this here too from Marge Kenny. Night, nice. Marge. Yeah. yeah. Do you both love living here? Oh we yeah. Do. I like. Uh, all the friends you have, I mean, I meet so many new people that you can be friends with because they're wonderful people. You know, there's 68% women here, two to one. That's women fine, we like that. I know, but I'm married, so we're good. And she's married too. So yeah. we don't care. We don't right. care. <laughs> but it's nice that there's a lot of women that you can hang out with. Yeah, oh, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us who you are. I'm Christy Young. I'm president of the Art Association. And at the Bonanza today, I'm selling some of my handmade jewelry or beaded jewelry and uh, Jaclay reproductions of my original artwork, small and large uh, reproductions. And I have some original watercolors and oil paintings behind you. So, how many years have you been presenting at the Bonanza? Of about this is my fourth or fifth year, fifth year maybe. Okay. And you know the art studio just probably gets the most people during Bonanza. Yes, but you know what? This year we've set up the room a little differently, and that's due to Agnes Copeland, who's the uh, organizer of this event. And we've made more room for people to stroll around, and uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, we redesigned. Yeah, it was packed. Yeah. yeah, so now it has a little more of a, you know, openness. I don't think people feel quite as crammed in here. It was kind of claustrophobic. Yes. Yeah, we so. have wider aisles. Yes. And how's it going so far? Very good. Yeah. The count is 245 right now. Well, well last thank year, you. over That's the two cool. days, we had a total of 1,500. So it, we're only open for two hours. It's uh, 245. I think that's pretty good. Maybe we'll hit 2,000 this year. That would be nice. And what do you get out of this besides well, selling your room? What? Well, I get to see all my friends and uh, don't pe forget the art association yes. donates to the scholarship. Right. Fund. We all donate to the scholarship. Fund. We have yes, that's what we do. We have people um, take up 10 percent of their earnings and they donate it to the Art Association and that goes in our scholarship fund. That then goes to uh, either the foundation or uh, LCAD or or some other organization for deserving artists. Do you know, remember how much you <laughs> donated last year? Yeah, I think we donated around $700. Nice. And how long have you been involved in this studio? Oh, I've been involved since 1986 in selling my art. <laughs> really? Really? Oh, she's so going on 30 I've been, years. I, I've wow. lived here 10 years, and I've been involved in the studio for the last, since I came here. And how does this help you thrive? Gives me something to do. <laughs> but the people are nice too, right? And people friends. are nice. It's sociable. Art is something that keeps you, you know, you don't just create art when you're here. You create it in your sleep and dream of it. Can't wait to get here the next morning to get started again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's good. That's true. Art, art is a process. And if somebody want, watches this and they want to be, come down here to the art studio, who should they contact or talk to if they want to explore their art 
talent? Well, we have uh, supervisors that uh, you know sit and in each art studio, ours as well as the others, and they are welcome to talk to that person, find out what we have to offer, and we have informational sheets at the, near the door that they can pick up and read more about us, etc. Okay. So. Okay. Tell us who you are. Pardon me? Who are you? I'm B.J. Van Alstyne. How long have you lived in the village? Oh, 24 years. Really? I moved into my mom's place when she passed away. And your art is amazing. Thank you. How long have you been doing this? Oh, probably six or seven years. Really? Yeah. Did you do any of this before? Not any glass, no. I've done lots of other art projects, but not this. And how was becoming an artist with glass, how has it changed your life? Well, I, it just brings out my creativity, and I just absolutely love doing it. And I've got to sell some of this so that I can make more. All my kids and all my grandchildren have received these clocks for gifts. And I even took one to Germany to my son who's stationed in Wiesbaden. How many bananas have you been uh, showcasing your goods? Um, I think three, maybe. Three or four. And what's your favorite thing to make? Well, right now my clocks are my favorite. It used to be other things, but I made sushi dishes one year. Yes. And I make lots of plates and dishes and... I commissioned, um, I commissioned some sushi dishes for, I think, six, six different ones, and with a big plate to match for a friend. Where do you do your work? Uh, I do, I, I fire here in the village, but I don't take the classes anymore, because I'm... Beyond classes, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't need to take the classes anymore. Well, without the classes, you wouldn't be here, right? With the, without the classes, I would not be here. And what do you think about the people that you meet here in Clubhouse for? Well, everybody has a common interest, and we all love to create, and then we like to sell it when we can. You're keeping count. How many people have come through so far? So far, we're at 306. Looks like 1130-ish, right? Yeah, pretty good, huh? That's really good. Yeah, a couple of hours, two and a half hours. And are you an artist? No, I'm an artist on the golf course, kind of, but my wife is the artist. She's uh, manning the booth over there. And what's it like to be married to an artist here in the village? It's great. She loves what she's doing. She's happy when she leaves because she's doing something exciting, and she's excited to be home and take the rest. It's perfect. It really is. Happy wife, happy life, right? There you go. And what about the golf? Do you love the golf here? Oh, man, this is the best place to be. It really is. love living here. I mean, the golf is so cheap, and the course is good, and the weather's good. Like, it doesn't get any better, right? I'm in my cart. In five minutes, I'm at the golf course playing inexpensive golf. It's, it's perfect. It really is. And it seems like the men golfers are having the most fun of all activities for men. Probably so. Well, but that's golf. That's the way golf is. That's it's golf. collegial. You have to go out and have a beer afterwards if you want. That's golf's fault, though. It doesn't, you know, it has nothing to do with anything. That's just the way golf is, I think. But it's like instant guy friends, too, right? There you go. If you play golf, you're a friend of mine. This is the lapidary room. It's quite busy, as you can see. It's like 1130 on Saturday. Prime time, I think, for people coming to uh, buy gifts. I love it. Not just a little. I love doing it though. It's it's an addiction. It's an addiction you get into. Yeah. How long have you been here in the village? I've been in the village for four years, and I've been doing this for about two. How's it changed your life? Well, it's an anti-stressor. You meet a lot of neat people, and I just enjoy being a supervisor here. It's a lot of fun, huh? It is. It's a lot of fun, and it's very rewarding. How is living in Laguna Woods helping you thrive? Well, there's a lot of people here that need help, and I like to help people, so I'm, I'm using my time more for helping people, getting away from the corporate world into more of a, a relaxed world. What are you doing besides the artwork here? Um, I do the glass, I write, I make uh, custom made cards, and I've had a book published. Tell me the title of your book. 
Echoes of Loneliness. Wow, that's a great title. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty good book, <laughs> if I say so myself. Give us Not a little smart. synopsis of what the book's all about. It, the book is actually about me when I was a little girl. I was abandoned and separated from my brothers. I was adopted, and I had a very rough life with the adoption. And you don't give up because God finds a way, and I found all my siblings and my mother. And Wow. Yeah, so been very lucky. You are lucky. Yes, life is a big blessing if you make it that. And tell me your name. My name is Diane Gambino. And if people want to buy your, your art, where do they where do they do that? Usually at one of these. I don't have a, a website yet, but uh, I can be reached here at, at the uh, glass shop because I am the head glass supervisor up here. What days? Um, I am usually here every Thursday night, but uh, you leave me a note or you contact me and I can be reached most of the time. Nice. And my number is published on the glass, at the glass shop. Who are you? Uh, my name's Taylor. Taylor, why are you here today? Uh, I'm here to help my grandma sell beautiful jewelry. And what do you think of her work? Oh, look at that. Wait, bring that up. What do you think of her work? Does she inspire you? Yeah. <laughs> In many ways. She taught me how to make these earrings. So. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Being an artist is fun, right? Very fun. Very fun to have granddaughters to help. Yes. And what do you think of your granddaughters? Uh, one is my purser and one is my seller, so they're developing good seller. skills here. Yes. They look quite seller. talented to me. <laughs> they look like really happy, wonderful young ladies. They are. I'm very proud of them today. And talk about your work. Um, I've been doing jewelry for about 10 years. I came from Michigan. As a Michigan. I'm a retired uh, high school teacher. Everybody on that from Michigan is friendly and nice. Is that true? <laughs> uh, very friendly, yeah. Uh, so we've been doing a lot of art shows here in uh, Laguna Woods. And uh, a lot of happy customers here. How long have you lived here in the village? Uh, about six years. How's it changed your life? Uh, it's given me a chance to develop this creative side, I think, to my personality. Yeah, being a teacher, you, now you get to do your own work, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> and describe your grandmother. What's she like? Um, yeah, yeah. She's very fun. Fun, friendly, helpful. Helpful. She watches all of us kids every day after school. She and, does? Uh, yes. yes. And also, if we want to get away from our mothers, we can go to her and she'll give us all the candy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it doesn't get any better than that, right? No. Do you guys get to go swimming in the village and do fun things? Yes, we do. What do you think of the Boone Woods Village? Um, it's pretty fun. We live in Aliso, so it's really close to our house. We like going to the pool down there. Yeah. Yeah, the pool is good, right? And the horses. Oh, yeah, the horses. Yeah, we go and visit we go and see the horses. You do? Yeah. <laughs> That's really fun. And describe your work. What is your um, work? It's all hand handmade uh, natural stones. I like the natural look of the different kinds of stones and I try to bring out the color and the beauty of the stone itself. Um, I think there's a s small population of people here that love the natural look of the stones. How many hours a week do you think you spend doing it? Uh, probably about four hours a week getting ready for this she in the makes, next show. She makes these two they're like crystals, little sets that go together. Yeah. I want a pair and I don't even wear earrings. That's pretty good. <laughs> Man, you're lucky. I bet you just have a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go into ceramics next. I have no idea what we're gonna see this year. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. There's so much in this room. It would take me half an hour to capture all the amazing pieces. So we're just gonna do kind of an overview. I'm Greg Patty, and you're at the uh, uh, Potters and Sculptors uh, room. And uh, here we do pottery and hand building. And right now we have 25 artists presenting their, their work. And uh, it's, I think this year, compared to last year, the work has really improved. I, I can see it myself as an artist, and I've only been doing it for five years. So I, I think it's, it's been a nice turnout. We have almost a thousand people show up in our studio today so far, and it's uh, still tomorrow. So I think we're going to have a nice turnout this year. 
And what's it like being yeah. an artist here in Laguna Woods Village? Well, um, I think it's something that it's very relaxing. I mean, I retired six years ago. Never did this before in my life. And uh, I find it it's very tranquil, um, for the wheel anyway. And people who start out, you have to just stay with it. And when, once you do, you'll find that the work is, is just improves on yourself. You know, each, each year you'll get better and better. Yeah. So I was right when you said you're relaxed. So would you say, yeah. that, does this room coming in here just kind of relax you because it's such a nice space? It is. It is. I mean, as soon as people walk in the door, I can hear them say, wow, you know, <laughs> because they're really impressed with the work. I mean, you got to remember these people, a lot of them never did this before. And they're just getting into it and improving every year. And you can see it. So come on down, join the club. <laughs> you are a great representative. Like, how has it changed yeah. the quality of your life after five years? Oh, um, well, the camaraderie in this club. Well, I'm in eight clubs. <laughs> eight? Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> they, they overlap. I've, I've met people in all my other clubs come in here, and they, they know me. I know them. And that's what's the beauty of having all these clubs and activities in the village. You get to see a lot of different people and, and interact with them as you go through all the other club events. And it's very, very pleasing. I find it very relaxing to talk to people and, uh, and uh, they talk to me and we have a good time. Was this the best decision you ever made yeah. to come here, the Laguna Woods? <clears throat> well, uh, yeah. Well, the driving force is that my, my, my family lives in L.A., so... And I'm from New York, so it's they're a lot closer now. <laughs> so it's it's uh, worked out very good for us. Yeah. What so, other fun activities do you do? I'm kind of curious. I just sent the eight oh, clubs. Oh well, I'm in the aerospace club, the camera club, the PC club, the car club, garden center club, uh, pa uh, paddle tennis, and of course the potters and sculptors. Yeah. Your day must be packed. Eh, keeps me going, you know, and it, I like to be busy, you know, because I came from uh, an atmosphere in New York, the East Coast. You know, I mean, you're always moving, you know, so for me, this is this is a good activity. All right, slip casting's in the back corner, and I bet you a lot of people don't even know where slip casting is, but uh, we're going to adventure into here and see what's going on. What goes on in here? Well, it's a ceramic slip casting, so we work with a liquid clay, and it starts out like pancake batter. And we've got almost 2,000 molds, and we pour in the liquid slip and let it set, pour it out, and it's a, a wet product that takes a while to dry, and when it is, it's a dry piece of greenware. And we put it into fire, and it comes out its bisque, like your dishes at home. And then we paint or we glaze, and we come up with wonderful finished products. And the best part is we've got lots of fun doing it. And so talk about Dixie and her work. <laughs> Dixie should talk about Dixie. I know, okay. but she's shy. I, no, she's not I that like, shy. I like to spend a lot of time painting. So when my husband's watching TV at night, I listen to the TV and I paint all different colors. And this year my theme was the funny giraffes. And I just, that's what I do. I say it keeps me from eating chocolate because my hands are busy. And it keeps me out of the bars, so I have to stay. <laughs> I have to stay home. <laughs> That's about it. She did have one glass of wine today, though. Yes. Tell them about how you trace the design with the wax paper, and you find a design in a book or in a magazine. And you use wax paper, and then from the wax paper, you put it on the bisque. Yeah. Right. That's. Mm -hmm. I find designs that I really like and then I just trace them and blow them up or whatever I want and uh, trace basically the outlines not all the other pieces and then I draw the other pieces in and I paint them. How has this changed your life that you became a slipcaster? Oh she met me. Oh yes I met Jamie. <laughs> you have to know Jamie to understand that one. <laughs> I, I, it's, a good, it's a good social event this is one of the few clubs, I think, that actually talk while they're working. Where I've been in other 
clubhouses and doing other things, and everybody's very quiet and listening to one person, where everybody in here interacts all the time. So it's a very good social outlet also. The party people are slipcasters. That's right. And on, uh, is it Thursday nights? Thursday nights. Thursday nights we have wine and uh, snacks. Snacks. Mm -hmm. And also, this is the only studio where someone volunteers their time to teach the residents. So every Tuesday morning at around 8.45 until 12, 12.30, we have someone who volunteers their time and teaches you from step one how to create all these masterpieces. And that's Carol McCall. Yes. And, <laughs> and, and that, McCall it's much better. The, yeah. It's, no, oh, Carol's works over here. Yeah, I got Paul, these, this is like about three or four different pieces. This is these are different molds. You put the molds. This together. is a vase that she put upside down. This was a plate, and this was a bowl. And she created all this, put it together, and painted the faces. That is stunning. Isn't How about it? that? That's also the same thing. She took a cone. She drew the Santa, yeah, got a great Where are the shoes? and then she bought the, sh the shoes we have as a mold, and she made the shoes, and then this is no fire snow. Yeah. And so she made I, these amazing I, I pieces. Like they are. Together. Also, she made these little Christmas ornaments. So I also put molds together. Oh, this has that. four different molds. So this is your base mold, and these are all pumpkin molds. Sweet. So I just put them all together. Are you selling that? Yeah, I have one that Would you I'm like not to buy selling. It? I wouldn't sell it. <laughs> I have an, I have another one. Okay, good. This is the porcelain artists. And what goes on? We paint porcelain. We buy the porcelain and we paint it. Is it fun? Oh, it's a lot of fun. You can do everything with it, and you can paint anything. Sugar and creamer. This is a night light. That's a clock. This is a cheese board. These are boxes. Look at the work on that. How many artists do we have in the village that do this? Oh, not many. About 15 total. Hardcore though, right? Well, those who, who attend, yes. Um, we're not in Clubhouse 4. We're in, uh, we're in Clubhouse 1, Dining Room 3. How often do you meet? Every Wednesday, 9.30. What if I want to do it, but my artistic skills aren't that good? You don't have to be artistic. There's ways to get around it. This does not take any talent. That's really pretty, though. Whoever did that That's probably is... mine. Is this incredible box? How long do you think it took to do something like that? That? She, um... That was five firings. I know, because I kind of helped her shading in the horses. <laughs> I got her pictures of horses, so she would get her shading correct. When it was done, how do you think she felt about it? She loved it. It was priceless to her, right? Yes, yes. Well, she's, she's selling it, so. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were second generation. I'm Tell me second about generation. It. My mother started with uh, doing porcelain about 1984. She was president from, I think it was the late, middle, late 80s until 2003 when I told her I was doing too much of her work and she had to resign and someone else became president. And then I took over as president the last few years, about five years ago. And we've had people past 90 in, in the club. My mother was painting up until her death at 96.